Together with the release of their X570S lineup of motherboards, Gigabyte has also announced this, the X570S AeroG, a high-end offering with features aimed at creators. Gigabyte's creator-focused motherboards were branded Vision previously, but with the release of this board, Gigabyte is now calling this brand Aero instead, so as to align with their creator-focused Aero laptops line. Nevertheless, the X570S AeroG carries the Vision series identity well, with white on black aesthetics and features to back up the branding. Today, we will be going over compatibility, features, and talk about how well the board caters to the needs of content creators. Starting with compatibility, the CPU support list is huge, supporting basically every Ryzen CPU since 2018, which are the Ryzen 2000, 3000, 5000 series CPUs, and the 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000 series APUs as well. The board itself comes in a pretty interesting Oreo or Panda or Stormtrooper white on black color scheme. The board has no built-in RGB, but does have this psychedelic looking thing on the chipset heatsink. Speaking of the chipset heatsink, this XY70 board has no chipset fan. Just like the rest of the XY70S lineup, Gigabyte has dropped the tiny and loud chipset fan for a big piece of heatsink instead. In terms of power delivery, the XY70S Aero G features a 12-phase V-Core and a 2-phase SoC with 60M power stages. Plenty of power for even the 5950X. Fueling the power delivery is an 8 plus 4 pin EPS configuration, hiding underneath this little cover, which I guess is to hide the power cables. Moving on to the PCIe slots, we have three X16 length slots. The top slot is wired for 16 lanes to the CPU, and when the second slot is used, the top two slots split the CPU's 16 lanes into 8 each. The third slot is wired for 4 lanes to the chipset. The spacing between the slots allows for a 3 slot gap between the first and second GPUs, and a 2 slot gap from the second to the third GPU. Great for 2 or 3 GPU setups, but obviously no quad GPU support. Moving on to the M.2 slots, Hiding underneath these seat sinks are a total of 4 M.2 slots, all in full PCIe Gen 4 x 4 bandwidth. This is one of the few bots on the market with 4 M.2 slots, and it doesn't need to split PCIe lanes off the GPU to do it. The first slot is wired directly to the CPU as usual, while the other three are wired through the chipset. We think this is a great feature for creators that need a lot of storage, since you could easily have a fully tiered storage configuration without needing to touch SATA SSDs or hard drives. All of the M.2 slots feature heat sinks with thermal pads for the top of the SSD. The first slot's heat sink is also slightly larger and has cutouts for more surface area to keep your primary SSD cool. You might also have noticed the Wi-Fi card is located here instead of under the I.O. shroud where it usually is. While this is usually seen on cheaper boards, I think Gigabyte did this here so the Wi-Fi card is as more easily upgradable, especially since the included chipset is only an AX200 card. For internal connectors, the front panel audio is located along the bottom edge of the board together with two USB 2 connectors and one USB 3 connector. Gigabyte has also included what they call the G connector to help you plug in front panel connectors without having to fumble around with each connector. The G connector has little tabs that hold the connectors into, which is pretty great. But despite all this work, the G connector itself doesn't have clear labels telling which direction this plugs into the motherboard. So a job half well done, I guess. Moving on to the right edge of the motherboard, you have a second USB 3 port exiting at a right angle and six SATA ports also exiting at right angles. Next to that, you also have a Thunderbolt add-in card connector. Finally, you get a front Type-C internal header for cases that support it. For fan connectors, you get a total of eight PWM fan connectors. Two in the top right corner of the board, four on the right edge, and two more on the bottom. In that same thread, the board has a pair of 5V ARGB and 12V RGB headers at the top right and another pair at the bottom left of the board as well as a stray 12V RGB header in the centre of the board. Just like on the X570S ARS Master we recently reviewed, Gigabyte has included two temperature sensors and a noise sensor. These sensors are reported to software through the usual telemetry reporting services, so apps like Hardware Info 64 and Fan Control can pick them up. If you're building a custom water cooling loop, you can also plug your own water temperature sensors into the headers and control fan and pump speeds without the need for an expensive dedicated controller like the Aqua Computer Quadro. The AeroG also supports QFlash Plus, Gigabyte's BIOS flashback feature with the button located here in the top right corner of the board. For rear I.O., Gigabyte has included two USB 2 ports in black, two USB 3 ports in blue, and two more USB 3 Gen 2, which is 10 gigabit speed. There's one USB Type-C port at 5 gigabit speed, and a second one which supports what Gigabyte is calling Vision Link. First, this board is a DisplayPort output for the iGPU if you are using one. 
It also supports DisplayPort pass-through from the GPU if you don't. Then, it also supports USB 3.2 Gen 2 x 2 data, which is 20 gigabits, as well as up to 60 watts of power delivery. This all-in-one functionality is pretty great and actually sounds a lot like Thunderbolt. Rounding out the rear I.O., we have a HDMI 2.1 output from the iGPU, an Intel 2.5 gigabit LAN, and disappointingly, the older AX200 Wi-Fi 6. So, how good is this board actually for content creators? The four PCIe Gen 4 M.2 slots and Visual Link ports are standout features that definitely attract some creators. But other than those, none of the other features are really exclusive or creator-focused. Boiling it down to what it is, the X570S AeroG is a high-end X570 board with high-end features to back up the high-end price tag. The relatively rare white accent hit design will also undoubtedly attract buyers looking for a team build. If you are a content creator, however, you don't have to get a motherboard that's targeted at creators to be able to get work done, this board or otherwise. As with any other buyer, pick a motherboard according to what features you actually need, and you very well could come away with a board cheaper than a creator-focused board like this. So that's all from us here at Dreamcore Tech today. What do you think of Gigabyte's new XI70S lineup? Leave us a comment below or watch our coverage of the XI70S Eros Master here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!